We are going to go over how to install R Factor 2 mods from Steam as well as manually via package files. For Steam, first find R Factor 2 in your Steam library. When using the detail view found in the top right of Steam, just scroll down and find the Steam Workshop section and click Browse the Workshop. This takes you to the Workshop tab on the R Factor 2 Community Hub on Steam. Here you're going to find all the mods added to Steam, and to install one, let's say I want to install this BMW GT mod, just click on that mod, and once you're on that mod's page, click the green subscribe button. The mod will now download and install automatically the next time you launch R Factor 2. To uninstall the mod, just return to this page and click unsubscribe. For external mods that you manually download the package file by itself, there's a couple extra steps. Say I'm on race department here and I want to download the Apex GT3 mod, I'll just click onto it, click download, and start downloading the files. After it's done downloading, I want to get to the RFCMP file listings for the file I just downloaded. At the same time, I want to bring up my R Factor 2 game directory and go into the packages folder. In my packages folder, I have a list of all of the current packages I have. So I'm just going to select the ones I just downloaded and drag and drop them to extract them to that location and place basically those mod packages in my packages folder. After that, go back to Steam and launch R Factor 2. Once it's launched, you'll... Oh, there's our BMW mod installing. Once R Factor 2 launcher is open, go ahead and click on the box icon on the top left of the window. And this brings up all of the packages you have on your computer, as well as all the mods you subscribe to on Steam. Mods that are italic with an asterisk after them mean they are a workshop item, and you cannot manage them through this interface. You have to subscribe or unsubscribe to those in the Steam Workshop. So we only come here to manage the package files that we have in our R Factor 2 packages folder. I'm going to scroll down and find the new mods that I've just installed by putting those packages in. And you can select the individual mod listings and then click install in the bottom left of the window and it will install that particular mod. You'll notice on the far right hand side of the screen we have an installed column with a little checkbox. That means that that package file is on your computer and either installed or not. So to quickly find which packages we have yet to install we can sort by that column. Scroll up and these are all the mods that have not been installed yet. So I can just select the new mods I have and just install them all in bulk. And if I want to uninstall these mods, I could just select them and click the uninstall button at the bottom of the screen. And while this uninstalls it from R Factor 2, the package file itself still exists on my computer. So I can click the delete button for those to just delete it completely from the computer so it doesn't take up space. And that's pretty much it. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.